Hey, would you like to know how to make custom ringtones on your iPad? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video, and that video is gonna start right now. Woo! Big ol' iPad in your face. Hey everybody, this is Sean Seymour and I do videos about technology and about photography. Sometimes it's cool stuff, sometimes it's frustrating stuff, but hopefully it's all new stuff to you. And if it is, please hit that subscribe button down in that corner over there and you can follow along for more content just like this. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can make a custom ringtone or a custom tone on your iPad. Let's go ahead and hop on the iPad and I will show you how you can get this done on your iPad, duh. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do when you're on your iPad is, if you don't have a GarageBand installed, we're gonna do a search. So you're just gonna swipe down slightly to bring up this search and then start typing in GarageBand. I see it right here and it looks like I don't have it installed. So that's the first thing you gotta do is go to the App Store and install GarageBand. Okay, once you have GarageBand loaded, you will get to a screen that says Audio Recorder. If you don't see audio recorder, just swipe to one direction or the other until you get it. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna actually tap on audio recorder so that it opens up this screen. Now this is the screen you're gonna to use to make any custom sounds. I'll show you how to make something from your music here shortly. So just hit okay. The next thing you're gonna see is a blue triangle up in the top right hand corner. You wanna click on that to turn off the tick, tick, tick sound that the metronome is gonna make. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit record and make our custom ringtone. Hey Sean, go ahead and answer the phone. Somebody's trying to get a hold of you, answer the phone right now, Woohoo! Press stop. Then we're gonna wanna take a look at this by clicking on the three lines at the top two broken lines and one not broken. I don't know what that icon is called. Okay, in order to save this so that I can actually then turn it into a ringtone, I need to click on this little page in the top left-hand corner with the folded edge. And then you'll see it goes out and it saves it. Now my song, number five, is now on my iPad. If you want to rename it, just press on the text and we're gonna put Sean Ringtone. Hit done, okay? The next thing we need to do is we need to turn this into a ringtone. So let's go ahead and hit select in the top right hand corner, click on Sean ringtone, and then in the bottom left hand corner, we're gonna click share. And look at that, it comes up as song, ringtone, or project. Go ahead and click on ringtone, that looks great. Export, use as a ringtone. So just for fun, we're gonna run over to my settings. We're gonna go down to sounds, ringtone, and... Hey Sean, go ahead and answer the phone. Somebody's trying to get a hold of you, answer the phone right now, woohoo! And that's my ringtone. Let's run back to GarageBand where I can show you now how you can create your custom ringtone out of a song that you might own from iTunes. I'm gonna hit done up in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus symbol because I wanna do a new one. Back to the audio recorder, gonna hit the audio recorder. Now, I'm not gonna record right here. I am gonna go ahead and turn off the metronome again because I don't wanna deal with that. So hit the metronome up there, top right hand corner, the blue triangle. Let's run over to the left side where we have those two broken lines and the single line, the three, I don't know what you call this, the three horizontal lines, I guess. Click on that and that takes us out to our track. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go over to this loop and that is in the top right hand corner and I'm gonna click on the loop. Now you'll notice that I have Apple Loops, Files, and Music. Now, if you're gonna use music, it has to be something that you've purchased through iTunes. You can use saved audio files, so if you have it as an audio file, you can do that, or you can just simply record it. I'm gonna show you how we do this with music. I'll just click on Artists, and here's some of the selections that I have. I'll go ahead and use uh, Convict. You see how it's grayed out? It means that I did not buy it. All of these songs are grayed out, which means I haven't purchased them through iTunes. Let me take a quick break here and go to the iTunes store, go to my purchases, show me everything. I'm gonna go to 50 cent and just a little bit. Now I want this over here in this track. So now I need to grab it and drag it to my track. Here you can edit or do whatever you want. Now I can run my playhead to wherever I want. Let's say I just want that. Run it to there. Run this one into here, bring it back. 
Okay, there's my ringtone. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top, click on save, which is that top left-hand corner where that page was. You notice that I'm waiting right now for my song number five. We're gonna rename it. Select. See how now there's 42 megabytes there? Before I was waiting. So what it's doing is it's saving it to the iCloud. I can click on select in the top left-hand corner. Go ahead and click on shady ringtones. Click on share. I wanna create a ringtone for that. I wanna export. Use as my ringtone. Let's go out to my ringtones just to double check. There you go, shady ringtone. But that's how you create a custom ringtone, either by recording something or by using music that you've purchased through iTunes. Hey, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button for more of this kind of content, and the bell notification will give you a notification when I have a new video out. In the meantime, create lots of fun ringtones on your iPad, assign them to all kinds of fun little things, and keep it simple, my friend. Woohoo! If you don't have GarageBand installed, gosh darn it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Technology is never predictable. I'm gonna use a grabber. It's a grabber. Up, 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 up. And it never does the same thing twice. I don't understand why. See this little fancy dancy thing? It's kind of cool. Tick tock, 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 tick tock. We're gonna have a little coffee while we wait. Ooh, best cup of coffee ever because my daughter gave me this cup. Tick tock, maybe we should do a color check. Mm. Ooh, this could take a while. For goodness sakes, it does its own thing sometimes. Maybe it's me, but I have trouble. I'm sure I'm like everybody in the world. Tick tock, tock, tick tock, tock, tick. Tick tock, tick, tick, tick. <laughs>